you're needing free programs to install on your new computer or looking for free alternatives to expensive software, we've got you covered. Coming up, I'll show you 10 free programs in various categories, focusing on what we think are the absolute best in each category. In addition, for advanced users, we'll have a few bonus programs for you to check out as well near the end of this video, all of which are feature packed with most being available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Let's get started. Let's start off with the basic programs first. One of the most essential programs on your computer is your internet browser. Right now, the most used browser is Chrome. Some of you might be old enough to remember, not too long ago in the mid 1990s, before there was Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Safari, Netscape Navigator was the king with an 80% share of the market, and it wasn't even free. Its cost was $49. Thankfully, we live in a time where there are tons of free choices to suit your needs. There's the much improved Edge browser from Microsoft. Firefox is still hanging around and is one of only a few not based on Chromium. And if privacy is important to you, there's the Brave browser. But if productivity is the most important factor for you, you'll find the Norwegian-based Vivaldi is the absolute best. Created by one of the co-founders of Opera, it is the most feature-packed of any browser available. In addition to blocking sites from tracking you, there's a handy sidebar to easily access your favorite sites and other features. Their tab tiling lets you easily create a split screen view. It's highly customizable, and because it's based on Chromium, you can install Chrome extensions. Unlike another well-known browser, they don't feel the need to pay you in nearly worthless cryptocurrency to use it. They believe you'll actually want to use it because it's good. Vivaldi is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. A must have for most people is an office suite like Microsoft Office. If you don't want to pay for it, the completely free and open source LibreOffice is hard to beat. It includes alternatives to Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. Over the years, compatibility with Microsoft Office formats has improved quite a bit, and with a large team of developers, it's updated on a regular basis. To enhance the functionality, templates and extensions are available to improve your experience using it. LibreOffice is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. On a side note, LibreOffice does not include an alternative to Microsoft Outlook. If you need a free email client, Thunderbird from the makers of the Firefox browser is what we recommend. It's available for the three major operating systems as well. Let's face it, the media players built into most operating systems are lacking in functionality and features. VLC Media Player, on the other hand, is packed full of features and is the absolute best for playing the video or audio files on your computer. It does not track you, and there are no ads or spyware. It gets the job done quickly with no hassles or need to install codec packs, and it supports just about any audio or video file you can think of, including those weird formats you may have never heard of. VLC Media Player is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. If you're a Windows user that stays away from high-risk online activity, the built-in Windows Defender virus and threat protection should be all that you need. But if you require more advanced security software, the best free solution is the new and improved Bitdefender Antivirus Free for both Windows and Mac OS. It includes real-time threat protection, it's light on system resources, and does a great job of protecting your PC from viruses and malware. As an added layer of security, we also recommend Malwarebytes Free Antivirus. It's available for both Windows and Mac. It's good to keep around for those times you need to run an additional scan to possibly find issues your primary antivirus might have missed. If you need a more advanced screenshot tool than what's built into your operating system, we have two picks for you. The first of which is the free and open source ShareX for Windows only. For those of you that have seen our tutorials, you already know how fully featured it is when compared to the built-in snipping tool. More than a dozen capture methods are included, and you can even record what's on your screen. It includes a good variety of annotation tools, and they make it easy to upload your screenshot or recording. Flameshot is another free and open source screenshot program to check out. Unlike ShareX, it's available for all three of the major platforms, Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's also feature packed with most of the screen capture and annotation tools you would ever need. It's easy to use for beginners and lets you upload with no effort and share with others. If you need software to record or stream what is on your screen, the free and open source OBS Studio is what you need. In fact, it's better than most paid for programs. And unlike most of its free competitors, it does not have any time limits or watermarks. It lets you set up an unlimited number of scenes, an audio mixer is included with per source filters, and it can be configured how you want it. 
OBS Studio does require that you have a computer that can handle it. We recommend having a PC with 8GB of RAM to avoid any stuttering or lagging issues. It's not the easiest to get set up. Just like others in this video, we do have a beginner's guide that will help you to get set up and use it. OBS Studio is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. With all the security breaches over the past few years, with passwords being compromised, having a password manager is a must-have. Bitwarden is what I use. It's free for personal use to easily keep your passwords and sensitive information private. It's open source, and your passwords are fully encrypted and stored on the Bitwarden servers. No one on the Bitwarden team has access to see or read your real data. And their cloud syncing feature makes it easy to access your passwords on just about any device at any time. You may have heard a while back, LastPass, one of its competitors, made a big change. Its free plan now only allows access to one device type. Bitwarden, on the other hand, still allows unlimited passwords on unlimited devices for free. Those devices include programs for Windows, Mac, and Linux, apps for iOS and Android, along with extensions for most of the popular browsers. Real quickly, if you need a torrent client, Qubit Torrent is the best. While torrents only get negative attention from the press due to illegal file sharing, their legitimate uses like the sharing of free software and being able to download large files you already own get overlooked. Qubit Torrent is open source, ad-free, with a search engine and media player built in. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. If you're wanting to edit high quality looking videos, we have two picks for you. For absolute beginners, the free and open source shortcut is what we recommend. In fact, this video editor is what we used in the early days of this channel. It's easier to use than most with support up to 4K. It includes video effects built in and has most of the basic editing features you would need when you get started. Shotcut is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. On the other end of the spectrum for advanced users is DaVinci Resolve. While the learning curve is higher, it gives you the ability to up your game with a ton of professional features. It includes multi-track timeline editing, various trimming tools, along with cool effects and transitions to make your project stand out. Also included are fusion effects to create film quality visual effects and motion graphics. Just like Shotcut, DaVinci Resolve is available for the three major platforms. There are two versions available. DaVinci Resolve 18 is completely free with the features most people would ever need. And DaVinci Resolve Studio 18, with a cost of around $300, is for professionals needing more advanced features. If you need a high quality image editor and you don't want to pay the high cost of Photoshop, the free and open source GIMP is what we recommend. You can use it for something as simple as touching up a photo or create an image from scratch. This is what I've used it for to create the logos for this channel. It includes a ton of enhancement tools, lets you work with layers, do transformations, adjust the colors, and includes advanced filters and effects. GIMP is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Now it's time for a few bonus programs for advanced users, first of which is VirtualBox. This free and open source software allows you to install and run other operating systems in a guest machine on your computer. It's a fantastic way to try out other operating systems. This is what I use to test out the various Linux distros. We have a beginner's guide on our channel for this as well. VirtualBox is available for all three of the major platforms. For those of you looking for a free alternative to Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape is the powerful open source vector graphics editor you'll want to use. It gives you the ability to work with layers and includes multiple tools for object creation and manipulation. It has an awesome color picker tool and includes file support for the SVG format used by Illustrator. Inkscape is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. If you're looking for a free 3D computer graphics tool set, Blender is the best. It's open source and has been used in the creation of animated films, video games, motion graphics, and a whole lot more. It has a ton of features and tools for digital sculpting, 3D modeling, animation, and built-in also includes a video editor. Of all the programs in this video, Blender does have the steepest learning curve of them all, so it's advised to check out the tutorials on their site prior to getting started. Blender is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. What free programs do you use that you think are great? Let us know in the comments. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.